In this lesson we will take on logarithmic and exponential equations. So uh, the first two are logarithmic equations to solve and we want to refer to this rule, this law of exponents, and that's this. If uh, log to the base b of m equals log to the base b of n, then m must equal n. Now, for the first one, 2 log to the base 5 of x equals log to the base 5 of 9. By the law of logs, we can move the coefficient 2 into exponent position, and we have log to the base 5 of x squared equals log to the base 5 of 9. Now we have the exact form that's displayed in our rule, the coefficient on log is 1, coefficient on log is 1, coefficient on log is 1, coefficient on log is 1. We take whatever's here and now we can equate those two. So we have x squared equals 9, x equals plus or minus 3. Whoa! We've got a little problem here. Which do we choose, the positive or the negative? Well, the uh, domain of the logarithm function is x such that x is greater than 0, so we're going to throw out the negative 3, and so x equals 3. That's our solution. We're done with problem 1. Uh, problem 2 asks us to solve this equation, ln of x equals ln, the natural log of x plus 6 minus the natural log of x minus 4. Uh, notice we don't have the appropriate form. On the right we have uh, the, uh, the di difference of two log natural log functions. So we've got to get one natural log function on the left, one on the right, and then we can equate results. So ln of x equals, and by the law of logs, we can combine these two in the form of one natural log, and that'll be the natural log of the quotient of x plus 6 over x minus 4. Now we have the form desired, so we can go ahead and equate results. So we have x equals the quantity x plus 6 over the quantity x minus 4. Let's get rid of this denominator, so we'll multiply both sides by the quantity x minus 4. Uh, those divide out on the right, and on the left we'll expand, and this equals x plus 6. Now we'll get 0 on one side, everything else on the other, so we'll subtract x and we'll subtract 6, and so we get x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0 and this will factor. So, equals 0. There's the x, x, and the factors of 6 that have a difference of 5 are 6 and 1. 6 takes the negative, 1 takes the positive. Now the solutions are, let's see, to this equation are x equals what value of x will take this expression to 0? Negative 1. What value of x will take that expression to 0? 6. So we have two possible solutions. But notice, if we allow x to be negative 1, we would be taking 
the log, natural log, of a negative number. Uh, <laughs> no can do. The domain of the logarithm function is x such that x is greater than 0. So the solution is x equals 6 and we are done. In 3, we have a, uh, an exponential equation. So uh, our first task is to get that exponent in coefficient position so we can get at that x. Well, the logarithm function is the tool we use to do just that. So we'll take the natural log of both sides. And by the way, you could take the common log. You can take any log of both sides. It doesn't matter. But, uh, so ln of 5. Now, by the law of logs, we can move that uh, x into coefficient position. So we have x ln of 2 equals ln of 5. Now let's divide both sides by ln of 2, and then we will have isolated x. So ln of 2, ln of 2. These divide out, and we have x equals ln of 5, the natural log of 5 over the natural log of 2. Now notice, this is just some number. It's an irrational number. Again, this is just some number, so when you enter these in your calculator, you'll come up with a uh, very close approximation for what x is. The reason I say approximation is because the quotient of two irrational numbers is another irrational number. It goes on forever. The best we can do is approximate it. So we're done. And also, I choose the natural log simply because I like it. You can use the common log and you'll get the same final numerical result. So we're done with this one. The uh, final equation is uh, exponential. We have 4, question 4, so that's 4 to the x minus 2 to the x minus 12 equals 0. Now this almost has quadratic form. If we can get it in quadratic form, we can solve it. So let's see. We can rewrite 4 in terms of base 2. So that's going to be 2 squared to the x minus 2 to the x minus 12 equals 0. Say, isn't that the same as, by the law of exponents, 2 to the 2x minus 2x minus 12 equals 0. And I could uh, rewrite this one more time in the form of parentheses, x and 2 outside the parentheses. We can do that by the laws of exponents, minus 2 to the x minus 12 equals 0. Now, there is quadratic form. We have this thing to the second power, the same thing to the first power, and uh, negative 12 times x to the 0 power, which is 1. In case you don't see it, let's do a substitution. We'll let u equal 2 to the x. And now wherever we see a 2 to the x, we'll replace it with u. So we have u squared minus u minus 12 equals 0. And this factors u, u, uh, 4, and 3. The 4 is going to take the negative. The 3 will take the positive. So now, we'll ask ourselves what values of u take uh, each of these to 0. So what value of u takes this expression to 0? Negative 3 does. What value of u takes this expression to 0? 4 does. 
Well, we, uh, we have to check each of these possible solutions, uh, but not yet. Let's make a substitution for u, and that's u equals 2 to the x, so we're claiming 2 to the x equals negative 3 or 4. Now we can uh, check these possible solutions. Let's see, 2 to the x, is it possible for 2 to any power to equal a negative? No. So we'll throw out the negative 3. On the other hand, 2 to the x equals 4 is valid. We can rewrite 4 in the form of 2 squared. So necessarily x must equal 2 and we are done.